I've got a brilliant trip this time. I'm really, really excited. Now, I'm going to be doing a wild camp, a summit wild camp, which I'm also really excited about and trying to get some more landscape photography done. Now, the weather just now in Scotland is stunning. <laughs> yeah, it's just, the forecast is brilliant. And I'm heading to Sky. It's going to be a blinder, an absolute blinder. I can't wait to get there. I'm about an hour or so away and it's just going to be a great trip. Really, really looking forward to this. So, I'll get the camera back on when we're at Sky and we'll take it from there. Right, I've just left the car behind in the car park at the hotel and I'll put the details up just now and I'm heading to Skurna Street. I think that's how it's pronounced which is a stunning viewpoint absolutely amazing downside, there's always a downside is it's an 8 mile walk uh, hike in and up so I'm going to get battered on and I'll talk to you in a little while when we get closer to where I'm going to be camping for the night find somewhere to have something, well, somewhere to sit and have something to eat. The actual route is up to the right here, going up onto the, the mountainside, so yeah, I need somewhere nice to have my lunch. This will make a good composition and maybe try and frame this area later on when the sun's going down. Hopefully use some of these rocks here as a try and get some leading lines into it, into this gully. So, so I just need to get this tent up. I don't know where I'm going to pitch it to be honest. <laughs> There's no real space. Uh, right, I'll do a 360 while I'm here. Absolutely amazing. Stunning. Right, I'll get a tent set up before we get blown off. So I've been wandering about here taking some photographs and this shot I had set up earlier I'm going to use tomorrow morning for the sunrise. I'm hoping that when the sun comes up and it hits the face of the, the mountains there um, it should make for a really really good photograph and hopefully a good composition. But I've come over to the summit cairn because I wanted to get a shot of the islands in the distance and I've got the image set up with the uh, cairn on the left and as I say this island in the middle which I don't know the name of I'll put up on the screen just now but yeah it's absolutely beautiful here beautiful what a place for a wild camp now I've got my camera set up in aperture priority mode 100 ISO I'm using my Sony 10 to 18 wide angle landscape lens and yeah, taking shots at f8 and f11. So I'm going to move about here and take one or two more images, see what they're like. And this one just now I'll put up on the screen and let you see what you think. But what a place, it's stunning, absolutely stunning.
Good morning, everyone. It's early doors, and yeah, I had a good night's sleep. It was actually really quite warm. It wasn't particularly cold, and the sky is just stunning just now, especially behind the camera. But I'm trying to get this composition that I set up for yesterday. I've got a reflection of the the ridge in the in the water down below. So I've got my landscape lens on again, my 10 to 18 Sony. I'm at f11, ISO 100, and basically it's aperture priority mode. And I'm going to take a set of three shots, bracketed plus or minus, you know, two stops on the exposure. So it gives me a little bit of leeway back in Lightroom. So I'm going to just fire off these. And we'll see what they're like. Chocolate bar for breakfast. Run out of water, need to get some of the way down. But that's it, ready to go. Right, I'm about a third of the way back and a little bit of a disclaimer. If you do fancy doing this walk and visiting, uh, I would recommend that you come prepared and you've got a little bit of experience in the, the hill walking. At the moment it's been beautiful for me in this trip, but I could imagine that if the rain was on or the clag, this would be quite an intimidating place to be lost in. So, get battered on, I need to get over this peak and then back down into the glen. So there we go, back to the hotel and the car. Get this kit off, try and get sun tea and home now. Fantastic trip, really enjoyed it, but the legs are going to suffer tomorrow. Now, I'm going to put up a photograph I took yesterday on the way up because I got stopped by the police because there was a wide load coming along. It was actually wind turbine blades. So while I was waiting, I seen a tree over to the left and I thought it might make a good composition. So I nipped across and took a couple of shots of that. So I actually think it might have been one of the better pictures I've taken of this trip. So I'll put up in a second and yeah, that's it from Sky. Hope you enjoyed it. Please thumbs up and subscribe. And until the next time, take care.